Hey everybody, how's it going? This week we did have a Warrior's Den stream. They haven't cancelled them quite yet. We'll have one next week as well. I guess I was mistaken on that bit. But anyways, this week's a little bit of excitement. Or rather, a teaser for the excitement next week. We have a image of the new hero coming with next week's Warrior's Den. Next week will be his reveal stream, or hers. I mean, it is customizable, so have at it. There will be Twitch drops next week, so if you have the time, go ahead and tune in, get yourself some free combat crates, or maybe even a 100,000 steel drop. The new season starts on August 1st, so that means if you own the year three pass, you'll be able to pick up the new hero on August 1st. That's two weeks from now. For everyone without the season pass, it will be on August 8th one week later. So the image, we know that this is a hammer boy. He has a very large hammer. We've seen two different arts for him, both the hammer art and the silhouette art. In the silhouette, it looks like a very small hammer. However, in the hammer art where it's just showcasing the weapon, it looks like a very, very heavy hammer. So who knows just how heavy this hammer is gonna be or how big it is. In the teaser image, it could go either way. It could be a really large one-handed hammer, or it could be a normal size two-handed hammer. The only part we get to see is part of the haft. He's holding it down near the base with a leather grip about halfway up the handle, so maybe it's a two-handed weapon. I think it'd be pretty cool either way. If we get a one-handed hammer, it might be a little too weird for For Honor, given that they need to block with it, and it might end up being like Shaolin again, where he blocks with his arm. Who knows? I don't think a hammer half would be too great at blocking, similar to a gladius, so that's kind of out of the question. But here we are. Then we have some little character notes. He has this weird uh, bun mohawk. That's my impression of it. If you think I'm wrong on that, go ahead and tell me. He does have fur shoulders with some bones on it and stuff. Pretty interesting. I'm curious how the customization here is going to work. Maybe the head customization gives you new hairstyles or different beards, that kind of stuff. I'm not sure how the beards would apply to a lady, but maybe she gets different face paints. He does have some leather bracers on his arms. Doesn't look to be metal. It's got some metal intricacies on it, but kind of hard to tell. It's a very dark screenshot, but we do see on his legs, he has metal shin guards. On his knee there, there's a bit of reflection. That wouldn't be leather. It would have to be some sort of metal to get that form of reflection off of it. So we have a little bit of information there on what kind of a character he has based on his gear. But of course, For Honor is heavy fantasy, so they could do whatever they want with this, and he could be wearing paper mache. Let's hope not, but maybe. So now that we've chatted about that for a couple of minutes here, let's jump into the other stuff that's happening this week. We still have the summer sale for all things on sale. This includes literally every cosmetic item in the game. There's also champion status. That's on sale for 50% off still. That will continue until July 25th. So you have until the end of this week, I believe. So next week's Warrior's Den will be the end of this offer. And to pair with the champion status, there is extra XP fest happening this weekend, July 19th to July 22nd. This doubles all XP gained from orders, contracts, end of every match, and the double XP bonus thing that you can do with the bumpers. The things you use your XP tickets on. It gives you 250 XP normally, they will give you 500 XP each, plus bonus XP to your teammates. So go ahead and make sure you use those if you have them. It's the best time to use them, XP Fest. And then to pair with this XP Fest, we have a weekend order called the Warrior Challenge. This is live for the same period of time that the double XP Fest is. And all this is, is be the faction with the most matches completed of any type on your platform. Pretty basic order that basically says play the game, and you'll get some steel at the end of it. So there's that, have at it. So let's go ahead and jump back into the new hero coming up with some speculative information. I don't know if this is a leak, if this is true, or a wish list, but there was a post on but there was a post on Amino about the new hero coming out. They did phrase this kind of weird, so I don't know if this is an actual leak or a wish list, and I can't find the original post. This was shared to me as an image. So for all I know, this is complete bullshit and means nothing. We'll find out in about seven days whether or not it's true, so let's jump right into that. He has side heavies, his zone, and his sprint attack, which knock the opponent in the direction of the attack. It acts similar to Valkyrie's side light finishers, and it can wall splat. It doesn't stun, and they're rather slow attacks. Top heavy starters are unblockable, and those are rather quick, 800 milliseconds. 
Not the quickest heavies in the game, but also far from the slowest. It is much faster than his normal side heavies, so it gives him a change and an initiator. And then he has a new thing called crushed status. That's his unique mechanic where he gets a change to how the normal game is played, similar to how Black Prior got his counter ability. If you get crushed, it reduces your defensive capabilities, so all normal blocks become crushed guards. Crushed guards will only block half of the damage in a, of an attack, rather than giving you the little bit of chip damage. It also prevents lights from bouncing off, so it basically gives everybody attacking you superior lights. And if the attack has an extra effect, if it hits, that effect applies, so my impression on that is if something like a PK Dagger cancel goes and gets hit, it will give you bleed. They went to mention that if you get hit by a Velk Sidelight kind of a thing, it will still knock you about, even if you block it, where it doesn't currently. So I'm not sure if that applies to bleed, or if it's only the movability stuff, like getting hit by a Velk Sidelight. And then any superior blocks that you have will turn into normal blocks. So characters with a superior block still have some defensive capability against the new hero, but not a lot. And then getting parried while crushed will allow opponents to guard break you. That is the entirety of what I've seen from this leak, or wish list. I don't know if this is true or not, I don't know if this has any form of relevancy. As far as I'm aware, it was posted by a nobody on Amino, so take it with a very large amount of salt, like the entire bag, not just a grain. This could be completely inaccurate, it could be entirely accurate, and we have no information on whether or not this is true. But having seen this post, or the images of the post, I thought it was interesting enough to share with you guys and see what you think. And on top of that, I now have a resource to point back to to say, hey, maybe it was right, maybe it was wrong. Don't go and get your hopes too high on this, because it could be entirely wrong, and it could very well be a post that was made for somebody's wish list on what they think the hero should do. There's no preface to this, so all I have is the small bit of details that I've shared, and I don't have the original full post, so I can't go and find the extra details if there were any. It is what it is. If this does happen to be the new mechanic, I'm not sure I'm digging the crushed mechanic. It sounds very weird and game-changing, and not in a good way. Nusha kind of changed the game in that you no longer block certain attacks, but that didn't change much because unblockables were already that way and bashes, so you would negate guard that way, but Nusha did it in a new way. Whereas this new kind of thing, if these last for any reasonable amount of time, that's going to be completely game changing on how block works, and I'm not sure the game can handle a fundamental change like that with one character. That said, if it happens for a very short period of time, like say, you get crushed and then the follow-up attack has just enough room to slip in before the crush disappears, maybe that's a good combo. It's basically a special type of bash then, and you go back to how Nusha operates. Anyways, no actual information on this, on whether or not it's true. It could just be total bullshit. I'll leave that up to you to decide. I thought it's kind of cool. However, I also think it has quite a few drawbacks. So with that, I pass the question off to you. If these mechanics are true, how do you feel about them? And do you think they actually are true? That does wrap up today's video. I pushed it a lot longer than I thought I was going to by talking about this amino post, but hopefully it was worth it. As always, thank you for watching, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on the battlefield.